kind of short one in a group. <laughs> so growing up, I was never the kid who got a lot of toys. So I was a fan of food and snacks that came with prizes. <laughs> you know, like cereal that got a toy in it, you know, Cracker Jacks. But my favorite, my favorite, was the Happy Meal. Yeah, Happy Meals. I remember my first Happy Meal. I was about five years old. And I was sitting in my mom's car, it was in the drive-thru. She rides up to the window, and the lady asks, what type of happy, happy meal would you like? Is this a happy meal for a boy or a girl? I didn't really understand the question, but my mom answers, girl. <laughs> so I get my happy meal, I open it up, I see a Barbie doll. I don't want to play with Barbie dolls. So, so maybe I just got a bad happy meal this time. Second time, open it up, my little pony. I don't want to play with my little pony. Third time, again she says, girl, open it up, Cinderella. Now I was really confused because I'm like, these are called happy meals, right? I'm not happy. What's going on? False advertisement, I don't know. So one day we go inside, and I see a young boy about my age. His mom orders him a happy meal. But she says, boy. So I was curious. I watched this little boy open his happy meal. And he pulls out a red, black, and yellow Hot Wheels race car toy. That is a toy. So I figured it out. My mom is just saying the wrong Happy Meal password. You have to say boy to get the cool toys, okay? So I tell my mom, I said, Mom, I want a boy Happy Meal. And she looks at me embarrassed and upset and says, those are for boys only. Something inside of me broke at that very moment. I cried hysterically. I got dragged out of McDonald's that day. And for some time this continued. And I feel like at one point my mom got tired of beating me for my tantrums and fits. And she decided to let me get a boy happy meal under one condition. When we in the drive-thru and she pulled up to the window, I had to duck down on the floor because she didn't want the cashier to see that she was ordering a boy happy meal for a girl. It was fun at first. I even made a game out of it. But after a while, I internalized a lot of self-hatred, shame. I felt like I wasn't normal. It took a really long time to learn to love myself. Being seen as the gender you are for many transgender people is an important thing. Many in our community call it passing, when you're a passable male or a passable female. <clears throat> in my case, it was when the she's were replaced with he's. But I never really felt that I passed until one night in South Philly. <coughs> I came outside the crib and went to the store. Just gave me some dinner, some Chinese American cuisine. <laughs> Chicken wings and french fries. <laughs> and uh, yeah, homemade iced tea. You know, do not forget my Lucy. Don't forget my Lucy. But I left the store, crossed the street, wanted to head home. All of a sudden, this police wagon pulls in front of me on the actual sidewalk. Two cops get out. I asked them why, why, why am I being stopped? I was told I was being stopped because I was jaywalking. Now that was very strange to me because everybody in Philadelphia <laughs> jaywalks, okay? It's usually how you can tell the Philadelphians from the tourists, right? The tourists, they walk up to the street light and wait till it turns green and they cross. You know, we just look and see if there's any cars coming and we walk. So after he told me that, 
They push me down to the ground, put handcuffs on me. I'm yelling at the top of my lungs, why are you doing this? Why am I on the ground? The cop says, oh, you don't want to be on the ground? You get in the wagon then. They throw me in the wagon, close the door. It smells like urine, feces, vomit, blood. I'm in there for 30 minutes. When they open the door, they let me out. They uncuff me. They give me three tickets, totaling $360. One for jaywalking, one for not having an updated address on my ID, and one for disorderly conduct because my screams disturb the neighbors. Policemen gave me my food back. By then it was cold and I had lost the appetite. But that night, I knew that I passed as a black man. I knew also that to protect and serve didn't necessarily apply to someone who looked like me. Someone young, black, and men. Growing up, I never felt like the things that I said were important. I was often silenced until I was introduced to hip hop. The thing that captivated me about hip hop was the power of the mic. When the MC grabbed the mic, people paid attention. When he spoke into it, people listened. I felt that maybe if I could get on these stages and grab those mics as well, that what I had to say would seem important to others. I started rapping at the age of 15. At that time, I identified as a butch lesbian. And my sexual orientation was never an issue at that time. I personally believe it was because lesbians have kind of always had a presence in hip hop. You know, we have the brat. Queen Latifah, a few others in the game who are actually le legends. And being a butch actually worked out for me because I wasn't sexualized as my femme counterparts were. Many would believe that my journey today is easier in hip-hop. I'm a man. I can just blend in with the other male MCs. But that's not the case. The combination of the fluctuations in my pitch, my voice, my small stature, my awesome sense of fashion. <laughs> Many uh, male MCs label me as the gay guy. So when I go to showcases and open mics, no matter how good I'm performing, they use those opportunities to go out and smoke a cigarette, or go to the bathroom, talk loudly to their friends. In addition to that, when I was a butch, I wasn't looked at as a threat. I guess today I am just that. Little did they know I always was. <laughs> but now the respect that I once had is now replaced with hatred, envy, anger by the other Mel and C's and their squads. I get shoved, I hear whispers. Man on man violence is a reality, so my safety is now of a concern. And I'm going to continue in this journey, this revolutionary journey, because I do feel that I have a place in hip hop as a transsexual male. On stage, I go by the name Words, the poet of C. And I do got bars. <laughs> I let the sun shine on my skin. The melanin hits the gold within. And when I rip it, I'm much more deadly than sin. I say you're proud, just in case they're listening in. A revolutionary, my means are so necessary. And the tales that I tell are never ever very educated black man. Yes, I know it's kind of scary. Growing strong, cause the world on my shoulders I do carry. My life retold in stories that unfold. I'm so brilliant and my colors are so bold. I make it move like Lackawanna blues. Rhythm city hues in the pages of this groove. So just check it free is where I'm headed. The game is kind of dry so my flow is going to wet it. Food for thought and I'm the one who fed it. Black is beautiful and you can tell them that I said it. Woo!